Hey guys, welcome back to Type Fun Play Super Mario 64. I believe this is episode 6. I don't know, man. You can tell that I basically just hit the record button almost nearly immediately after ending the previous episode there. But that's because, you know, we're gonna continue on. I think it's time that we go upstairs. I think I think it's time that we go upstairs. I think it's absolutely time that we go upstairs here. Um Yeah, we have the keys. Let's do it. I'm gonna sip a coffee while they do this animation. All right, now we're gonna do an ultimate speed run trick here. Yeah, that's right. Now, you, you know, we jump through the ceiling, and now the camera is uh, not working with us. You know, it's I want I used to watch a lot of Super Mario 64 speed runs. It probably is the game that like got me into like watching speed runs, right? Like, and that's like the general concept of the speed run. Um, I don't particularly want to do these ones. Trying to think of the uh, one of the more fun ones. Y you know, the upstairs room. It's not one of my favorites, but I do like I do like this. Uh, this one's all right. It's more that they, you know, they're the less classic levels. Like you know, when you think of the game, you think of Bob on Battlefield. You think of uh, you know, maybe you think of Jolly Roger Bay. Maybe you think of what do you think of Michael Bay, director of uh, the Transformers movies? He's known for going big boom, big bang. What's going on? We gotta scale the mountain? <laughs> We're a freaking mountain scaler, dude. I've never really climbed a mountain in my life. Like, I've never gone, like, on, like, a hike, right? It's never really been my uh, forte. I had a lot of friends that did, like, Boy Scouts and stuff like that. They were always doing all this camping stuff, and here I was just like, I don't know, man. I, uh, I just take, uh, you know, I just talk to the flight. Let's talk to the flight uh, coordinator in World of Warcraft, and then, uh, then I pay my, my 50, uh, silver and take a wyvern to, to the Alteric Valley of World of Warcraft. You know, you know, that's, that was about what I was doing there. So it's kind of nice to be climbing a virtual mountain in that way. Uh, now, virtual mountain climbing, a lot of people are probably gonna think about Skyrim, because, I don't know, if you've ever been, like, mountain climbing in Skyrim, you, I got- I, I- I can't even be mad at that. That is a one in a million shot. That guy deserves every bit of glory that he truly- he truly received there. <laughs> um... One thing I do find fascinating- sorry, I was just like looking at my dog. What's up, buddy? How you doing today? Sometimes he distracts me a little bit. But... Yeah, so like mountain climbing in Skyrim, let me tell you, you know, if you've played Skyrim, you don't really like climb a mountain in like a normal way. All you do, all you really end up doing is you kind of just jump and you just hold the shift button, you just keep jumping and you know, you kind of just kind of stumble your way up. Uh, you know, if you, you're not really super aware of if what you're doing is actually going to be beneficial to your success of the mountain climbing. Oh gosh. All right. All right. It's just hot log rolling. In the the lava level has prepared us for this moment. Oh god, I would not do well on a real obstacle course nor a virtual obstacle course. Um, sir, can we spin this way? Yeah, yeah, that's the business. <laughs> Never admit that you've won until you've won. It's JoJo's Bizarre Adventure rule number one. That's probably not the first rule of that, but you know, if I had to throw in a JoJo reference. Oh, is this a MF Joe? Yeah, it was. I I just said it out loud. All right, let's go back over here. Let's. We can make this work now. This time it's gonna be different. I I am a new man. I have faced my my difficulties in the past, and now I am better equipped to handle them than ever. All right, all right, all right. All right walk diagonally. Jump. There you go. You see, it's all it took. Don't let anything clonk you on the head there. That would be, that would be dangerous. Once again, though, Mario, he's impervious to good concussion. You never really quite know. Oh, God. Sidle. Okay. It always feels like you're about to, like, fall off the entire mountain edge there, but we stuck the landing pretty well. Long jump. Watch out for the monkey. He'll steal your hat, and then uh, you'll be... You'll be exposed to the elements. You don't want to be exposed to the elements, especially in a Mario game. Okay, okay. You know what? Why don't we st stomp the Goomba? We get ourselves back into the green. Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't entirely matter. 
Maybe we are full health. I, I didn't think we were. Pretty sure we're still not. I don't know, man. I'm starting to have trust issues. It's okay. No one said climbing a mountain would be easy, but it's a heck of a lot easier than a mountain climbing game such as, like, uh, getting over it with, with Bennett Foddy, dude. That game... It's a game that I think I've accepted. You know, there are some games. There are some games that I'm like, yeah, one day I'll be able to beat it. You know, Majora's Mask used to be like my my video game white whale. I was like, I, I don't know if I'll ever beat this game. It's very abstract and non-linear and it's confusing. And, you know, there's, there's the time mechanic that can be a little stressful depending on, you know, how much you kind of vibe with that. Although I'm a big fan of the time mechanic, to be honest. I think it really adds a very unique element to that game that I've very rarely experienced in another game since. But, okay, we just gotta be careful here. Wait a minute. Can I just... I wonder. I wonder. This is possibly something we can make happen. It is! We're so smart. Getting over with Bennett Foddy, though. I've tried. I mean, I've played it for like 10 hours. I'm still very little, very little progress. I got to like the, the part where there's like a grill and like a bunch of like cardboard boxes, but I, you know, I don't know if I have a drive to get over it. But those who do, let me tell you, hey, it's, let's, let's, let's pour a little bit more coffee from our French press into our cup here for optimal beveraging. Let's uh, take another sip here. Mystery of the monkey cage. Let's go. Okay. Go, uh, let's go find the mystery of the monkey cage. I'm pretty sure it's just in the waterfall. If my memory serves me correctly, we just have to go look at the water. We just have to find the waterfall. And that'll unlock all the secrets that we could ever need. Let me tell you, getting over with Benefati, watching a speedrun of that game. Now we're, you know, you know talking about speedrun stuff. People who speedrun that game are better people than me. In every area. Morally. Emotionally, intelligently. This is, you know, there's, there's no way I could ever possibly compete. Alright, the monkey's cage, listen. You're a monkey. You go here. You jump. We gotta get to the next part with the waterfall, I believe. And I think we just gotta, like, land a sick long jump, I wanna say? Is the kind of energy and uh, mentality that we're working with here? Okay, okay. Okay, doke. We can make it. We can absolutely do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. There you are. I see that star. Okay. <laughs> okay. Slow your roll, my guy. Slow your roll. Don't get too excited now. Or do. You know, if you want to get that excited, who, who am I to tell you to... To, you know, simmer down on your excitement levels. It's just, it's just kind of what you gotta do, right? Nah, make it. Oh, there's, there's a cage. There's the cage. Uh-huh. This is only scary because of our controller drift. And then if we just ground pound it? Huh? No? No? Okay, well, what do we gotta do? What's a guy gotta do to get a monkey cage, dude? Uh... Oh, hold on. Hey, monkey? Mr. Monkey, sir? You gotta capture him, right? Hey, get out! Hey! Friend! Come on. Come on, we got you. <laughs> I don't want to do you, sir. Where are you, where are you going? Sneak up very quietly. Very quietly. Got him. Ow! Let me go. Wakiki. I was only teasing. Can't you take a joke? I, you know, you know, if someone's offended, don't ask him. Hey, why can't you take a joke? I'll tell you what. Let's trade. If you let me go, I'll give you something really good. Free him. 
Will you? You gonna give me something really nice? Tell me something good, dude. Give me some good news. Come on, man. Sorry to get a little bit more comfortable with these camera controls. Way, uh, many years too late. Okay. E he he he. Okay. Uh, why did I... Wait, so where did the star go? Unless it's just like all the way down? It might be. There it is. Okay, okay, we got it. We stuck our landing, and that's all that really matters. As long as you stick the landing, dude, you are gonna absolutely be in great company here. Mystery of the Monkey Cage, I have bested you 43 stars. Hmm. I think if we talk to Toad here, one of these toads will give us a give us a star. There you go. Thank you, buddy. Forty-four stars. Ain't no thing. Ain't no freaking thing, dude. You want to save? Yeah, you bet, man. Why wouldn't I want to save? All right, all right. Let's 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 keep going around here. Let's just go hard. Scary shrooms, red coins. Okay. Scary shrooms and red coins. I know where we gotta go. We gotta find the scary shrooms. Alright. That wasn't so scary. Not so scary after all. Still not entirely sure what's so scary about these shrooms. Honestly, I had a wonderful time. Alright, so let's... The, the, the rest of these, these red coins, I believe, are kind of up here. Oh, right. Okay, that's not like a climbable surface. In most games, that would be a climbable surface. Of course, you might want to get to a, an angle which you can actually see. Would be helpful. Ow. Don't fall. Alright, there you go. Alright, alright. Parkour, backflip, gymnastics. Mario is such a limber boy. You gotta appreciate that. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Where's he going? Up here? Now this is some uh, experimental mountain climbing, dude. I like so like I I like to go hiking, right? I mean I've never gone on like a serious hike. There's like a couple nice trails that you know I would say traject uh, upward. You could say that that's kind of like I wouldn't call it climbing, but you know you do get some good. Oh my god, this is this is this is, this is a rough spot. Maybe we just backflip carefully up here. Man, you really gotta appreciate the modern control scheme of uh, a modern analog stick versus this old school jazz. All right, is the last red coin up here? I feel like it has to be, right? It should be. I guess we can get a one-up. I mean, we didn't really need it, but it's still nice to have. Can't deny that. Okay. So where's this last red coin? There it is. We found you. And then it's gonna be all the way down there. Now that is not a scary shrimp. Okay, let's, uh, let's try to get it. But we gotta be a little careful when we, of of how we approach it. Not super. Uh, if the camera would cooperate, that would be awesome, though. I mean, it's not like the camera's not cooperating. I mean, it's kind of not. All right, we made it. That could have been a risky jump. I mean, it was inherently it was a very risky jump, but 45. I'm feeling 45 right now. Scary shrooms and red coins. I have bested you. All right. I think there's a- I think we gotta do the secret slide now? The secret slide's probably my favorite. Mysterious mountainside. Oh yeah, this one, once again, I think this game could have benefited from just more slide uh, levels. I love a good slide. In fact, when I was uh, recently playing Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom, almost all of my favorite segments were the golden spatula, you know, puzzles or whatever you're gonna call them. The ones where you had to like, you know, do a bunch of like, you know, skateboarding, basically, except, you know, Spongebob uses his tongue, which, my god, that's gotta hurt, right? 
boy has either got like, the smoothest, slipperiest tongue of all time, or he just doesn't feel. Oh. It's okay, the water has healed us. Do not fret. The water has healed us, and we have nothing to be afraid of anymore. We are mountain climbing experts. At least now we are. You know, maybe at the beginning of this, uh, this world? I don't know if we were necessarily, everything was, uh, making sense, but... You know, it's not like we're listening to Stop Making Sense, uh, by the Talking Heads. It's, you know, it might be one of the best. This is not a hot take. This is just, like, a normal take. This is, like, probably one of the most common Talking Heads takes. Maybe even in just, you know, like, the whole kind of, like, new wave era of music. But Stop Making Sense, to this day, first off, strikingly relevant, politically speaking, but also, like, just freaking, it still goes hard. And I probably listened to it for the first time, or watched it, or, you know, what have you. Probably for the first time, maybe a couple years ago. Maybe, like, two or three years ago. So, you know, it's not like I'm, like, an expert. It's not like I've been, uh, you know, preaching the gospel of the, you know, Stop Making Sense co live concert video. Featuring Big Suit David Byrne. Uh, you know, it's, this is not an original take. But it's a common take. And that's why you have a face camera, right? Because uh, otherwise, you would have seen me be absolutely silent. But you know what happens when you fall off the mountain? And now, if this was real life, if you fell off the mountain, you'd probably sustain some serious injuries and require medical uh, treatment. In Super Mario 64, when we fall off the mountain, we just climb back up again. You just climb back up again. You don't, you don't let it get to you. Did it get to me? A little bit. I can't lie and say that I, uh, I experienced mild salt. But if you've watched my Twitch stream, you understand. We have a very... We we live an LSD lifestyle. A low-sodium diet lifestyle. It's just, you know, I eat a lot of ramen noodles because, A, I'm not really financially killing it, but also because, you know, if you make it right, it can be extremely delicious. That's a lot of sodium. <laughs> so, like, you know, I was saying, you know, low-sodium diet and then, like, talking about how I was probably eating, like, noodles, like, at least every day for dinner because... And it was affordable, and, you know, I was making them tasty and all that stuff. And then a buddy of mine is just like, yo, bro, that's not a... Hate to break it to you, but that ain't low sodium. <laughs> that's actually, like, extreme sodium. Is this the... Where's our secret? It's right here. Oh, my God. Now, for the longest time as a child, if I didn't have that uh, official Nintendo strategy guide, I don't know if I ever would have found it. All right, so let's hope that we can... Uh... Oh, we should have gotten that one up, but that's okay. Let's try not to die. So I don't- I'm not nearly as familiar with this slide as the other slides in the game. Not like there's many other slides. I think there's only like the other one slide, right? There's, this is the number two of slides. Sounds like a tarot card, the two of slides. I don't know what happens if you pull it. I don't really know much about tarot in general. I have some friends that are very into like tarot card readings and it's not particularly my- my kind of thing. Not really like a very spiritual person, though I don't look down on people that are. I do think it's really cool. I mean, just like, the cards themselves are really cool. Like, some of the stuff I see them share on the internet, or in, you know, little, like, group chats, I'm just like, that is a cool-looking card. Like, props to the freaking graphic designer, man. That's, that's some nice-looking stuff. I don't know. Y y you know what? If someone were to pull the death card on me, I'd be happy. Oh, not because it's the death card. I, you know, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying more along the lines of, like, hey, man, at least that's a cool-looking card, right? Cheers to that. Alright, we had our fun there. Let's go do another, uh, let's go, let's go mess around somewhere else. Adjust the glasses very quickly. So this is big and small world. Let's go to big world. Probably one of my favorite levels when I was younger. Cause I was like, oh my god, I'm giant Mario. That's just like the coolest thing. Pluck the piranha flower. Maybe we actually do need to be big. Or a little for this. When we get here... Yeah, I think you actually do need to become, you know, Detroit become small. And then we gotta just handle these freaking piranha plants, dude. There you go. Die and, uh, let me at least get money out of it so I can heal up. Because, you know, it's just like the modern... It's late-stage capitalism, really. You know, money is the cure for all ailments. Because, you know, if, if you can't afford your treatment, well, guess what? You're not getting better. 
But if we get money, then we get healthy. That's that's the Super Mario 64 way. All right, where's where's our last guy? You over here? Yeah, you are. Hey, let me pluck you. Let me pluck you, please. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's wonderful. I think we got another one. There's like five. I mean, we didn't get the star, so I'm assuming that there's more pea flowers that require some pluckage. Maybe? No? Oh, right here. Get out. And will that net us a victory? It does. Look at that. I'm, I made it. You know, it, it's not like this is like a puzzle game by any means, right? But there are moments in this game where, you know, the game's not, like, a modern game would be like, here's your quest and here's exactly what you need to do to do it. You need to hurt five of these. Now, obviously, if you had the strategy guide, it would tell you. That always was kind of like a fun part about this game, though. Kind of like the the piecing everything together. Like, Tip Top the Huge Island. Like, all you really know is you gotta get Tip Top the Huge Island. It doesn't... You don't... It's not gonna tell you... Alright, now you have to... Now is the part where... Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Wait a minute. I think... Oh, I think I remember a little... A little trick here. I think we can actually skip a good portion of this if we just... We have to, like, backflip, like... Hmm. Off of this. It's gonna be risky. I think if you do it. Yeah, you get up here. Awesome. And I think we have to actually be small for this. Which honestly, the, the big and small mechanic, that's that's kind of a nice touch, right? Like first off, it's kinda of cool to, you know, kinda of be be super small Mario. And there's like a Super Mario 3 world, I believe. I think it's like world four or five. Where everything is just like, you're basically small Mario and everything's so large. I remember as a kid, that was like the coolest thing. Just like, kind of like, oh, it's something a little bit different. It's something a little bit different. It's not anything crazy. But it's something, you know? There you go. You gotta appreciate that. Here we go. Nice. We did it. We're, we're, we're trucking along right now. The tip top of the huge island. Huge. Good job. 48. I bet we can make it to 50 stars. I bet we can. Rematch with Koopa the Quick, my friend. You are about to get bested. Can't believe someone's gonna try and insult me over here. Alright, so to do a rematch with Koopa the Quick, I think... What you gotta do... Get up here. We gotta go, like, we gotta become small. That's all I know. Because otherwise, Koopa the Quick's just gonna be a boring, regular old Koopa. And we don't need that. We don't need that kind of energy. There is a weird star here where it's like, unlock the secrets. But you just have to, like, touch, like, random hearts and they just get, like, numbers or something? I don't know, man. Alright, Koop. Koops. We call them Koops because we're buddies. Although, Koops is actually just straight up from, uh... I want to say that Koops is from... Paper Mario in the Thousand Year Door, not the Paper Mario 64. Uh, long time no see! Wow, you've gotten fast! Have you been training on the sly, or is it the power? It's definitely the power of the stars, but also, we don't need training. We're just fast. Alright, let's do it. This one's actually kinda tricky. I, I, I can't lie, this one actually is a little tricky. This one does take a little bit of uh, energy out of you. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, this is the hard part right here. First off, don't get bulldozed by the giant cannonballs. But also this part is a little tricky. At least I remember it being kind of tricky. Wait a minute, was that? Oh, there's the flag. Okay. I see. We could have won. I mean I mean honestly, I consider that we did win that, but we just uh we you know we we let him get his first uh we let him get the first plate at the uh, line up here. It's Thanksgiving. We're getting him that first plate of uh, deliciousness. You know, we can stand second in line. Too. Just because we're being nice. Just because we're being a nice guy today. All right, rematch with Koopa the Quick. I'm not gonna let him get me this time. This time, I'm gonna show him what it means to deal with type fun. I don't know, uh, you, you know, I make myself sound so freaking hardcore and competitive there, but really, I'm just, uh, I'm just, you know, chilling, playing some fun games. Oh god, didn't want to go down there, that's okay. Koop, 
Koopa, Koopa, the quick. Just gotta get. The harder part, honestly, is just getting to him, right? And backflip. Nope. No, no, no! Get a little heated. I mean, maybe it's just because it's like a billion degrees out today. It's actually, it's, uh, you know, honestly, it's not as hot as it was like in days prior. I must be honest. Um, all right, we made it. That's the hard part. The hard part's been taken care of. Now we just gotta end this man's career. I'm sorry, I already did it to you once. But you know, you're the one who wanted a rematch. You're the one who wanted a rematch. Don't don't come complaining to me when we uh we embarrass you in front of your friends and family. You probably made a lot of friends over here on tiny big island. Big and small land. Ooh, that hurt. Easy. Easy victories. Look at that. Beat him by a freaking full second the last time. My, all right, no way, you beat me again. I just spent my entire savings on these new Koopa Mach 1 Sprint shoes. You know, you can't pay to win, dude. You cannot, you cannot pay to win over here, man. That's just not, I'm just not gonna allow it. <laughs> I refuse to allow it, dude. Uh, here, I guess I have to hand over the star to the winner of the race. Congrats, Mario. All right, buddy. Congratulations. Congratulations. I would like to thank my friends, my family, yeah. and everybody Here we go. for this bounceable victory that I am experiencing right now. Rematch with Koopa the Quick. I put you away. All right, 49 stars. We gotta get one more, right? Just, 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 just one more star. Five itty bitty, we're not doing this star. This, this star sucks. Do not like this star. We'll do a different star. <laughs> we'll do a different one, man. A different star. All right. Well, what's what's a good star we can take care of? What's a nice star? You know, why don't we go down and do a let's do a lava star. Lava star sounds fun. It doesn't sound fun. I don't know, man. Maybe. I think maybe it does. I don't know, I just think it's neat. I don't like the lava world, but we'll do a lava. We'll do a lava star. Cool. Cool. Calm, cool, and collected. Here we go. Hot-footed into the volcano. Yeah, this one's not that bad, actually. First off, we hot-footed. That's what hot-footing is. I don't care if that's actually what hot-footing means. We do it. And you might be like, Nick, why did you just get rid of... Why didn't you take your opportunity? Get your freaking uh, one up. It's because we don't need the one up. We're too good for the one up. All right, we go in the volcano. That's not concerning. Uh, there's two different paths you can take. I think this is the path we go. I like that they kind of did spin it up a little bit by, you know, letting you go in the volcano. Now, seeing videos of people actually going like super close to like volcanoes and like the full like hazmat bodysuits, that's got to be horrifying, man. You trip and fall. I don't know how protective those hazmat bodysuits can truly be against liquid rock. But, like, have you ever held a rock? Now imagine that's liquid. It's crazy. I, I know, this is like, whoa, dude. Have you ever, like, thought about, like, magma? Oh, Mario's thinking about that magma. <laughs> Alright, that's okay. We missed our pole jump, but... I mean, you know, we're probably distracted. Once again, we're going in here without any sort of, like, heat protection. I was playing some Monster Hunter with some friends last night. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate for the Switch. Super fun game. Highly recommend if you're looking for, like, a very time-consuming game that there's a trillion different things to do and you can kind of pick it up and maybe do one quest, put it down, or maybe just go on 10-hour binging sessions. I don't know, man. I love that game. But, like, you know, it's one of those things where there's, like, temperature control systems, right? Not like a thermostat, but, like... If you're like in like the volcano like world, you have to bring cold beverages. I imagine just, you know, rolling up with your Dunkin' Donuts like iced coffee and just being like, take a sip and be like, all right, I'm good. I'm not going to burn and melt in this freaking volcano now. You can't stop me, dude. I am unstoppable. Hot foot into the volcano. All right. 
Yeah, so now we've uh, unlocked, we've recovered 50 power stars. Now you can open the door on the third floor. Bowser's there now. Oh, you found all the caps with. So just, haven't you? Red, green, and blue? The caps you get, uh, hurry along. Yeah, we actually haven't gotten the green cap switch. But that's a time, that's, that's another task. Uh, bunny rabbit, we can't, we're not gonna chase you right now. I don't, I don't want to do that to you. I had a great time with our, our little, uh, you know, game of tag before, but it's not really, uh, in the cards right now. Let's go upstairs. I wanna, I wanna at least get to the clock. We're, we're, we're getting there, man, you know? Six... 30 minute or so episodes in and we're we're, we're already in the end game now yeah. 50 stars that means we only got 20 left to go we made some really good progress today like this this episode here this this is some this is some progress because it's really easy to kind of like slow down and like a like it's just something i've noticed about like a collectathon style game where you know the you know this kind of setup right is like the very beginning of the game it's super full of, uh, chock full of excitement. Not like there's, you know, a lack of excitement afterwards, but it goes like super fast in the beginning and then you kind of slow down once you get to some of the harder, harder to achieve, uh, victory points there, but that's going to complete it for us today here. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, please hit the like button. It helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, we put out these videos of Super Mario 64 every other day, so if this is the day that this video is released, you gotta wait one day in between. I know I'm sorry, but I, you know, I don't want to give it all away so fast. And uh, thank you guys for being here. You can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash typefun. Twitter at MrFun. We stream on Twitch Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Playing a variety of games. I'll put links in the descriptions down below, but most of all, most importantly, just have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you. Bye-bye.